watching No My Scholarship presents Kamer's Career TV. Today, I'm going to talk about the career scope in food science and technology. But before that, if you're watching this video for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. So let's begin. Now see, food is the basic need for every human. So the students who keep interest in food industry and aspire to be a part of it are very suitable in this course. It is a four years undergraduate degree course combined of eight semesters. The students are given basic knowledge about food chemistry, food processing, microbiology, R&D labs, food quality and the food laws and so on. Now at the initial semester the students are taught about the basic engineering principles headed by the core subjects. Now moving on to the eligibility, the minimum criteria for joining this branch is only to pass class 12 by keeping physics, chemistry, mathematics as its main subjects with 60% aggregate marks from any recognized board that can be state board or central board. The students can also give the entrance exams that are conducted by various universities and colleges in the with their criteria. Now, the forms for these exams are available online on their portal before the exam date. So the students can easily go and fill it up there and sit for those exams. Now, the qualified students will be eligible for a counselling session followed by some interview that can take place or cannot depending on the university or the college you are choosing. And thus, they can get their admission. Now, in this case, there are again two options. You can get direct admission and also you can get admission after doing diploma. Now for the direct admission, some institutions offer direct admission on the basis of plus 12 results direct. Even some have some reserve seats for the management quota too that can also be available. Now for the second option, you can join this course after completion of 2 years diploma in engineering with 50% aggregate marks. Now moving on to the specialization in food science and technology. There are three branches, dairy science and technology, Product Designing, Food Entrepreneurship. Now the core subjects are Microbiology, Food Processing, Food Chemistry, Dairy Technology, Oil Technology, Bakery, Waste Management and Unit Operation of Chemical Engineering. Now coming to the job prospects. Now before that, after completing BTEC, there are two options. Either you can do further studies that you can do MTEC by giving or qualifying GATE exam or you can do MBA by qualifying CAT exam. But also you can join a job too after doing BTEC. For that case, the job prospects or the job positions where you are going to be recruited are Food Safety Officer, Food Technologist, Dietitian, Food Scientist, Food and Beverage Executive, Quality Analyst, Auditor, Assistant Manager R&D in Food Industry, Food Owner and Product Developer. Now the employment areas are going to be like Department of Food and Public Distribution, Food Processing Plants, Food Production Firms, Storage and Preservation Firms, Food Manufacturing Firms. The top recruiters in this case are ITC, MTR Foods, Coca-Cola, Cadbury, Unibig Biscuits, Anmol Industries and many many others. Moving on to the salary. In this case, after joining a job by doing only BTEC, he or she can expect around 4 to 6 lakhs per annum. That too depends on the profile and the experience. This is all about food science and technology. So you, if you do have a, uh, want to have a career in this, Please visit our website knowmyscholarship.com and register yourself for more information regarding scholarship and admission. Our experts shall help. With this, I would like to end my video. Share this video with your friends. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel.